watching the Lazizi Review Show. What do you buy? Lazizi. You are watching the Sweetie Girl Production. It's like that. Snap, snap. Hello, fam. It's Ibnani. Welcome to Lazizi Review. Where we talk about stuff I want to talk about. You know the job. You're a subscriber. You know what I always say, right? Yep, 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 yep. Let's just get on with the show and let's go. Wow. So today's discussion is going to be like on the same vein as a lot of our discussions because it's just going to be random. Like, go figure. I'm always doing random shit, right? Well, here you go. Me and a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, we were having a discussion. We were talking about, um, you know, picture taking, picture taking, okay? She really, really felt adamant about me making a video about it. She thinks it helped. Because, you know, she was taking some provocative pictures and posted them on Instagram and Facebook or whatever. And she felt very happy with them. Like, she thought they were awesome and everything. But on the other hand, on the other side of the coin, because she didn't only just think they were awesome, she thought they were awesome for a reason. She thought they were sexy. Okay? But don't we all want to feel sexy, right? My sexy is alive, right? Another word for sexy, alive, boo. Yeah, right? Well, let's go. So she's feeling very sexy with these pictures and she's very comfortable with them. It's part of what she does, you know, that's her sexuality. And she even is like, let's just say she works in the field of, you know, selling her image in a lot of ways. And she sells her image, right? A lot of girls do this, okay? We all do this from time to time. We sell our image, you know? You know what I'm saying? We might dance. We might be models. We might be have our YouTube show, you know? We might do a lot of different things, right? And my dog wants to say hello. Hold on a second. This, this is Madeline. Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Okay, she's annoying. So that was Madeline. She's already like a year old. She's a big girl. She likes to hold them. And that's the noise that you hear back. So anyway, we were talking about that. We were talking about picture taking, right? So she had posted some pictures on Instagram. I know I'm running on and on with it. But it's, it's going to go somewhere. Trust me. Trust me. Bear with mommy. It's going to go somewhere. Well, she felt like she didn't like the advice that she got from other people about the pictures. They were telling her that they were trashy or whatever. And, you know, it's not a good look. And that's not cute. And you know what the pictures were. You know, I don't have to tell you. It's it's that famous picture that I'm taking the picture of myself in the in the mirror, and I'm kind of like showing my booty shorts, and I'm like, mm-hmm. You know, the lips. The, it's very provocative, and it gives off a message like, I'm a piece of cheesecake. What you think? I'm thirsty. You thirsty? You want a drink? It gives off that. I mean, come on. I know you out there. A lot of you girls, it's very sexy, and y'all do this, so y'all gonna get mad, and y'all gonna be like, no, don't mean that. Yes, it, it means that. I mean, let's just say you see a picture of a guy, right? If you're a girl, right? You see this picture of the guy, he's showing his chest, he's all like, he's like, he's taking a picture of himself too. He's just, you know, you look at him and you don't think Einstein. You don't. You don't think Crazy Horse. You don't, you don't think um, Abraham Lincoln. You don't think that. You're not thinking, oh, you know, a founding father of the country. Well, anyway, let's just say you're looking for a righteous man, all right? Or you just looking at men, pictures of them, right? And you see a man, and you see him, you know, with that thinking look. You know, he looking like he contemplated something, or he's like thinking about the stars of the universe. He's contemplating life as we know it. I mean, he's something. You know, he's thinking about shit. And then you see the picture of the guy like this. And you like, oh, he's thinking about nothing. He's thinking about his next pair of sneakers. Okay, I know that we out there by the television, the media, the government, whatever... It's conditioned to be stupid. Okay, we are manipulated into being stupid and we're manipulated to be morons. And we've been manipulated into thinking we can eat money. You know, we could eat it. So if the world blew up, we could literally eat paper. We could go like this. You know, really, we really believe that. Yes. I'm just saying, right? So that's why we take these pictures because we got so much time on our hands and our mind, you know, and we don't have time to think about the world. And what's going on with it? You know, this is our mother planet. We got time to, mm -hmm, well, we got time to think about our body and our physique and our nonsense. But we're not thinking about how to clean our bodies or to eat the right foods and stuff like that. No, we're just thinking about the flesh. You know, like just eating. You know, and um, each other basically like meat. I'm just here to school you on something, and I want to tell you like when a man, this is for you and girls out there. When a boy, man, whatever. Is looking at you when he's looking at your body like this. Damn, that's yo, that's you, man. You look good. Damn, man, you look good. And he's just staring at your meat, 
Uh, he's staring at your ass, your titties. He ain't looking in your eyes. He ain't like looking at your eyes like, yo, ma, I really care about you. No, no. He know he looking at your tits and your ass and your your elbow and shit. He's all like, damn, and shit. Because he's just wanna fuck. I told you, yes, I'ma tell you straight up. He wanna fuck. And he wants to sex you and dump you and throw you in the garbage. And you know what's the perfect example of that? What gets you to that level is when you take these pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mommy's gonna tell you. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Now, my friend was talking to me about this, and she wanted me to be honest about it. She wanted me to tell people about it because I told her about her pictures, and not in a hurtful, nasty way. She told me, what did you think about them? And then I said, honestly, I think it just looks like if you're looking for a righteous guy, it ain't going to help. And then she was offended, and she was like, why? No, I think they look sexy because my ass is looking right because I'm, you know, working out now, and I'm looking real good, and I'm looking like a true life, you know, and I look great. So I want to show that off, and I said, that's another way to do that. You could, you know, wear your workout pants and then show, you know, before and after shot and say, this, you know, I'm working now, this is day two or whatever. But when you like, you know, and you out there, culo pa fuera, and you have your little baby shorts and everything, it looks thirsty. But I was like, do what you want. You're my friend. I know you're a good girl. But if I didn't know you, I'm going to be totally honest. And I was the guy. I would think cheesecake, you know, puta, whatever, easy. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you the truth. And you can ask this to a lot of guys, and that's the picture. That's the vibe they're going to get for the picture, whatever, right? So she had time to sit and contemplate the notion, you know, the idea. And I figured, well, I probably offended her a little bit because she told me that family members had told her the same thing, but harder, that they were more like, that looks slutty or that don't look right. And, you know, it's more like a judgmental way of talking to people. You don't want to do that when you're talking to people because if you do that, they tend to shrink in. Get on the defensive and shut you out immediately. This is the way it is with kids. This is the way it is with your friends, your man, your woman, whatever. If you talk to people the wrong way, you're going to get a wrong reaction. That's the way it is. I know for a long time I could have went hard on her and been like, I those look slutty. That looks like cheap. You know what I'm saying? That's cheap. I mean, whatever. Right? But I didn't go there because I know it's not going to work. It's not going to work because she's a grown woman and then she's going to take more of these pictures. Like, look, I do what I want. Because people tend to spite their nose to spite their face. You know what I'm saying? Meaning that they would rather break their own arm and do the right thing because they just don't want you to tell them what to do. So you don't. You're not supposed to tell nobody really what to do, not even kids. Like, you're supposed to give advice. And I'm not talking about you tell the kid, listen, you shouldn't jump on his bed and he jumps on his bed and then you just go like this. No, he busts his ass or whatever. You give him a strength talking to him. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in life. Like, where's he headed in life? You're not supposed to really be beating on, down on him. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because he's going to have to experiment with life as he is. Like, he's going to have to do things and learn for himself is what I'm saying. And you got to know when to step back. And you got to do the same thing with your friends and family. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. So, basically, my friend was very disturbed by her own pictures after she said she sat down in the bathroom, she was taking a shower, so she, you know, got an epiphany. And then she realized, damn, you know, she looked at the pictures of some guys showing off their chest, and she was thinking, damn, they look like hoes. And then she realized, damn, if they look like hoes, I feel like maybe I look like a hoe in those pictures too. Boo, right? So she called me up to tell me, you was right. You was right. I started thinking, that looks cheap. And ain't no real righteous dude gonna feel me with those pictures. And I was like, yeah, think about it. Could you imagine Einstein taking a picture of his body like this? Yee! Or anybody, you know, past Marilyn Monroe or something like that, you know. Like, you don't think of a, a deep thinker, like a scientist or something, doing that. And it's not like he can't. Because, you know, a lot of people tend to think that models and people that are beautiful or people that take pictures a lot, that they're not smart. And a lot of times the reason why that is is because when you st stuck up, stuck into yourself, like you all about your body and your appearance, you usually haven't reached that level of, you know, being a philosopher or a very an intellectual person it doesn't really hold hands you know to normal people like to most people i'm saying like generalizing most people don't look at a picture of a sexy dude without a shirt and think oh he got the mind of a scientist no they usually think a cheesecake you know dumb blonde thought you know that's the thought there even if he has black hair whatever they just think dumb blonde you know he's categorized as that he's um you know anna 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 nicole you're so outrageous and they just picture you being so beautiful, but they picture you all, you don't have it together. And I think it's really shocking, but wonderful, when you do see somebody physically beautiful and intellectual as well, very intelligent or spiritual. And I mean, you could be not very intelligent on paper, but be very deep, you know, because there's something more better than being intelligent. Einstein said this is, is imagination. Surpasses knowledge. It's better than that because you can't even have a world without imagination, and that's true. So, you know, children have imagination. So you could have the mind of a five-year-old and still be fascinating and fantastic. But when you're just um, occupied by your flesh, 
And yes, you know, we talked about this, but I tell you that everything matters, you know, it, it matters the way our appearance is. It's raining right now, so I'm going to try to talk loud. It matters the way our appearance is, yes, it matters to a degree. But not to so much of a degree where, you know, we're taking pictures of our body now because we're trying to feel sexy, but we're trying to feel sexy on a social network like Facebook or Instagram. And by the way, Instagram me. Instagram me. See pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're back to the show. So you on these social networking sites and you throwing these pictures out there and you showing all these titties ass and, you know, your kitty cat, whatever, you know, you wearing all these sexy outfits. And it's very cute. You know, it's cute because you're cute. You're cute, yes. All right, you got beautiful body, fascinating, fabulous, or whatever. But what I'm saying is to you, and this is true. This is true psychology, human psychology right here. If you're trying to get you a man, right, snatch you up a woman or a man that is thinking about you for the long term, you're just not going to want to show pictures like that. You're just not going to. Trust me when I'm telling you because your body is sacred. And somebody, and spiritually people know this. They know this. Even if they don't really know this straight out, subconsciously they know this, okay? So your body is very, it's, it's symbolic, okay? It's, it's you. It represents you and how you dress it, how you take pictures of it, how you show showcase it. It means everything. So if you, like, taking a picture and you all, like, you know, and you all, like, you know, the turnaround, cool or shot, and you, like, oh, you know, I'm trying to show you, like, oh, booty, you know, you all, like, my booty, my booty, I'm bootylicious. I'm bootylicious. I'm bootylicious. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, you know, you're secure. Like, oh, my body. Bad impersonation. I know. I'm sorry. But anyway, I tried. Right? Next. So you really don't want to be doing that. That's all I'm saying. Well, anyway, I don't want to run this into the ground, which I probably did anyway. You know how I am. Yep, 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 don't think I'm judging you because I never would. You girls are beautiful, especially you young girls out there showing off your, you know, your little body and shit. I know you young and, you know, you want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Yeah, okay, I get it. But anyway, I'm just saying if you're looking for a man and you want a righteous dude, take those pictures, put them to the side, save them for when you meet him, and put some, you know, pictures, you know, show that beautiful face. And that's it. But, you know, ultimately, mommy's not going to tell you what to do. Just gonna sit back and let you make a train wreck out of your whole life, whatever. Make it beautiful, make it a mess, whatever. It's your life. You're gonna live it your way, right? Right. But remember this I always love you, I always will, and I always do. So don't forget, click like, click it, click it, click it, and rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching my show. Bye bye. See you next time.